Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Today I've just grabbed a mini um, topper set to work through. Um, if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me here today. And if you're a regular, you'll know that I have been on a big spending spree over the last couple of months. And for April, I'm trying to do a no spend. It's proven very, very di difficult because a lot of the um, craft suppliers that I buy from have brought out lots of new things just recently, especially hunky dory. However, I really need to not spend this month. And I want to use up some of the kits and things that I've been picking up. So this is a um, Golden Bunches Luxury Topper Set. It's from the Rainbow of Flowers. It came in one of my Hunky Dory goodie boxes. If you've missed those and you're curious, please do head over to my channel and have a look in the Hunky Dory um, craft hauls. I believe they've been put in that one. I am still sorting through my um, channel at the minute, just re putting things in new playlists and that so that people can find them a little bit easier but I've definitely got four different goodie box craft hauls on there so on this one you get two sheets of coordinating cardstock you get a plain one and you get a gold foiled one and then you get the sheet that has the toppers on here so we've got we've got four very definitive card toppers we've got two sentiments here we've got two tags that can also be used as toppers or can like mix and match with some of these and then we have this gorgeous ribbon strip down the side as well my plan is to use up all of this today because it is just one of the single um one of the single sheets of toppers and i can usually make the cards in one video so let's start with popping them all out i picked this one because it feels very spring love the colors so grab this one and i've really got to get through all of them so that's our ribbon strip might add some other bits in definitely add in some um embellishments and things Got that one. That one really is a beautiful um, pack. I haven't had the Rainbow of Flowers kit, but I did get a couple of these mini topper sets in my goodie boxes, and they were all really pretty. I think I got this one, and then I got a pink one as well i believe we go. and we'll pop these out as well there we go so pop this in the bin there's nothing on here that i'm gonna keep it's just not worth it And then, so we've got these two sheets here. Just having a look at what I've got in my stash to maybe extend this out a little bit. I always use card blanks anyway. We've got that pale yellow there. I always use card blanks anyway, which automatically means that it stretches a little bit more. But if I can add anything from any of these, then it will stretch it even further, which is great. So what else do we have? We've got actually some yellow scraps there, so I might take the scraps out. It's quite a nice yellowy gold, so we'll take that one out as well. What else have I got? It's actually a scrap piece, so we'll take that out because I might be able to use that instead. Uh, that's that same one, isn't it? But I do also have some more gold and yellow, so we'll take a sheet of that out as well. There we go. 
I may need a, another sentiment though this has got all gold foiling so I'm going to be better off with my gold foiled ones which I do have a pack of so let me grab those out there we go they're going to match a little bit better with the gold than the silver so pop that way uh, most of my embellishments are um, quite easy to grab anyway so I'll grab those as I see fit um, I think that might be it I'll grab these two as well because these have got some yellows and I quite like this textured feel I think it always looks quite nice I've got two separate sheets in there so I'll get those out Anything that's kind of going to match and just extend out that card stock. I'm always here for that. Um, <clears throat> what do we have? I haven't used these yet, but I don't know if there's going to be... I've got some butterflies. What's in here? And a lot of these were like more roses so i don't want those in the garden no very pretty but there's just nothing to match i might get these ones out might add a couple of the yellow butterflies maybe so i'm gonna leave that one out no i don't want the birds i don't want the birds one I think that might be it for now I'm sure I've got probably other things that could maybe go with these as well just try and think because sometimes when I extend out my cardstock I extend it so far that I end up with enough to make some extra cards with that as well um, quite a few like packs of stickers and things as well here that I've had from like team you so some of these will probably work actually as well let's see how we go let's get started i don't want to make the video too long but it's also good to show you guys some of the things we can do with them so that could be on a little card with a little sentiment that one would definitely go on a card and so would this one so those two are definitely going to make some beautiful cards. We'll match that little gold sentiment there with that one. That sentiment can go with that one. Then we've got these two here. Might be able to attach that one to there somehow. That's definitely a card on its own like so. I mean, I might even put that one on its own now. Yeah, those two are together, aren't they? I do like those. Right. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I think, this one. I'm going to do one of my front half cuts. I really like that style of card. I think if I use a piece of this pale lemon on the inside and then a strip of this one on the front, I think that's going to look really nice. And as I say, the half front cut cards I really like. I am slowly running out of the 5x7 card blanks, so I might not be able to do many of these. Oh. But let's fold this in half. And based on experience with this particular card size, these are usually pretty good. So yeah, that's a 5, that's a 7. I'm going to cut my front panel. Quite like cutting this front panel at the three. So I'm cutting two inches off the front. So that it looks like that. <clears throat> I'm going to take this one. And I want it to be a quarter of an inch shorter. So that there's a little board around. And because this is going inside the card, this then needs to be a quarter 
like four and three, four and three quarters, like so. So that's going to sit inside. We're matching that beautiful yellow tone of the card while still leaving blank space there for us to have the gorgeous writing in. And then I'm going to take this one. Now I know my front panel is three, so I'm going to come in at two and three quarter inches wide. Oops. Okay. Like so. And then I want this to be six and three quarters this way. I'm going to cut off this top part here because I'd prefer to have those beautiful daffodils anyway. So this is now going to sit on the front of this panel here like so. Then we'll take this apart and have this gorgeous top there and I think I'm gonna pop that up the top where it's a bit plainer. Beautiful. Let's push these out. Keep the outer frame. I don't want the inner frame for this one. But I do always keep them because you never know when they might come in handy. I'm just going to trim this a little bit. So we always get these little notches. Just going to clean up the inside as well. There we go. And then I'm losing track here on tight. This is the sentiment for this one. There we go. So now let's build, let's get this card built up. Move those over there. So I'm going to start off by attaching this and I'm just going to use my ATG. This is as level as possible. Okay. So that's our inside. Then I'm going to do the same with this panel here. Just make sure this panel is the right way. glue on this frame like 
like so. Then I'm actually going to um, put decoupage tape on this one just to lift it up a little bit. So I'm using my big roll of decoupage tape again. Just make sure you're only putting this on the side that's going to actually be attached to your card. your card will open like so and there's lots of free space there for them to put their message on and I'm also going to decoupage up their sentiment There we go. That's our first super quick card. How spring does that feel? Love it. So put that to one side. Then we've got these left to work with. So we've got this gorgeous sunflower card topper. Let's pop all of these through. one's quite tough today again I don't think I want this in a frame so I'm going to put that to one side there we go so let's just neaten these off And I'm trying to think of what I can do with this. I might just do a multi-layer. Would be beautiful as a shaker card, but I have been making quite a few of those. Just lately. And I don't know if I want to use that little sentiment on this. I feel like it needs a bigger sentiment. I think this is going to go on another 5x7 card. I think I'm going to do layers. And I just feel like that is such a tiny, tiny sentiment. That would be better probably suited with either that card or maybe that card even. So, I think we're going to have the gorgeous warm yellow as the base. Then I think I'm going to go for some of this beautiful glitter card. 
and then a piece of this one and then with our topper I might even go for this one actually with this side this beautiful topper towards the top like so and then a gorgeous happy birthday sentiment along the bottom i like that so let's grab another five by seven grab my cutter again And again, I'm going to work in quarter inch increments. So we're going to do this at four and three quarters by six and three quarters. Then I don't think this is going to be wide enough. Oh. Do you know what? It's so close. Because I needed it four and a half. It's so close. I think I'm going to use it anyway. Just need to remember to bring that in a little bit more. So it should have been at five and a half. But I'm actually going to bring that in to like the halfway between the quarter. And quarter. So that should be a similar sort of border all the way around like so which it is then I'm going to take this piece yeah it's directional so I want this one here so it's actually there, so I think if we come in at the three inch, or is that going to be too small? Where's my foot? Let's try to give a similar sort of size, but that's going to be too small for that, isn't it? Because that is three and a half. What did I put this in at? Just over the four. three and a half so actually I've come in at three and three quarters let's see three and three quarters and then that way should have come in there but we cut it there let's go for the six right Move one of these bits and pieces out of the way. Bring back our card. And now it's just about building this up. So I'll build up the card pieces actually first. Onto here, this one to sit on this gorgeous this really nice warm yellow colour that there we go love these colours together
There we go. How beautiful does that look? Absolutely love those colours. Then we're going to have this sit on here like so. Put that on there. I'm going to stick the frame down flat and then I'm going to decoupage up the topper in the middle. Decoupage tape this bit on. One side, I'll use that on the sentiment. I'm going to use one of these. I think that along that bottom there is going to look beautiful. So I'm going to foam tape this up. There we go. I don't think that that looks out of place because we've continued with that gold foiling that is very similar to this. I think that looks really nice. So spring, summer feels. Oh, feels lovely. I don't know about the weather near you. It's really windy here, but the sun is shining, so that's good. Let's have a look what we can do with this topper. So I think this one will work really nicely on a C6 size. Again, it's a beautiful image. So let's get the C6 size card. Is going to be beautiful. What, what do I want to use for the backing? That's the question. Mm -mm. Do you know what I think is going to work with this one? Because I might go for this pale yellow. And I might do a bit of a like a striped effect gold yellow gold yellow gold yellow all the way up to the top that on front with just a nice sentiment i think that would be i think that would work really nice and i think actually that would work nicer with the gold and the pale yellow so 
me grab this. So when I've done it in the past, I've always done like one inch strips. I feel like that's a nice size strip. So I'm going to do that again. So an inch. I'm not sure what size this is. I don't think this is quite an inch. To be fair. Pull that one out. That's a nice cut one. Hmm. Just shy, put that to one side. So, start off with three of these pale yellows. There we go. And then three of these ones. Three. So that gives us our uh, strips there, and then I want to work it on a panel instead of just straight onto the card. So I'm just going to grab a sheet of this cream card stock. It came as a freebie with an order from Creative Crafting World, so I tend to use it as like panel piece. So I don't have any information on what it actually is. Um, so we're just over four by five and three quarters. So if I do this at three and three quarters, five and a half. That's going to be my panel size. Move that one out of the way. So I think if we just build this up really. If we put the gold, kind of try and get that in the middle. So where would that need to sit? I always get this wrong anyway, so it's okay. It needs to go somewhere around there, doesn't it? Let me get some glue on here. She's in my ATG. Just want to make sure there's plenty on here so it grips. Just but I don't think these gold ones will. No. Otherwise, I could have done it like so. So close. Let's just see. Let's touch that to that one there. Touch that to that one there, like, like that. Then this way round, I know this isn't gonna fit, but I have got my other I have got my other gold one, haven't I? Now it will fit. Let's 
that. Like so. Pop it on there like that. That's not going to come up. That's okay. We can fix it. Right. So now we just trim all of this off. There we go. So that's that gorgeous backing. I really like that. That's going to sit on there. Now, I was just a tiny bit short on either side. So what I'm thinking about doing is, again, just tying in all these colours. Is maybe go around it with some of these gold strips. So, this will do the ends. My problem is I'm not very steady. I'll wrap that round just before I stick it on my card. Because I like to make sure that they are tucked under. I'm going to do the same against this bottom one. There's nothing to tuck that side, is there? There we go, so that's the two shorter ends, and then I'll use these longer ones for the other sides. These will tuck around a lot easier, so if you put these on last, okay. Then that around like so, and that over the top. That should then pinch that down. Then if we do the same here, so if we took that around like that, and then this, I have to work quicker, aren't I? Like so, like so, and go. Come in handy for another card. Okay. 
the same again on this side. Just so fiddly. So I'm going to do exactly the same. So I'm going to tuck that round there. In theory, that one round there, that one straight over the top, just to help pin it in place. When I go um, over it, I always put my glue over these anyway so that they stay. But if we pin that there, that straight over the top lot. quite fiddly but I really like the effect and that's just hidden my um, couple of little miss corners like you wouldn't know that there was a, a tiny patch that I'd missed so then that is going to sit on there like so I like it I do like it and then that and then our chopper uh, a sentiment sorry so because I want to make sure I'm going to capture those I am just going to go around with double sided tape this time I don't always but I find it very difficult with the ATG to sometimes get close enough to the edge And then if you want, I found this to be one of the easiest ways to put like backings on, especially if you're using double sided tape instead of like an ATG or something. If you just peel one side, take your card point and line it up however you want it. You can actually do it like. So you get it lined up, and then when you're happy with it. Push down the edge that you've taken the tape backing off of. Lift up the end that you haven't and just take the tape off. And as long as you've done it in one strip like I have, you can remove the backing from the entire piece all the way down without any issues. Take off that end one. Then lay it flat. There we go. So that's a gorgeous packet. Oh, I love it. Then I'm going to uh, foam tape this one up. Try to trim that bit off there. And then grab another sentiment. I think when you're making like
cards these are so good and i can't get them like their craft creations don't exist anymore though i have noticed that i think it's katie sue designs i think she bought i think that company bought them out and they do do something very very similar um and i am when i'm out of my spending ban i am going to buy some especially in the silver because i am running low on them but look at this kit takes gold i'm gonna pop that on there like so oh love it i know it's not using backing papers from the kit but a lot of the um a lot of the goodie boxes had some that were just the topper sheets and no matching cardstock. So this is a great way of using up some of maybe your own cardstock um, or even scraps. Like this is a perfect background design for your scrap cardstock. Um, and it just goes to show that if you haven't got the matching card, there's always something you could do with these toppers. So that makes me three cards now. We're now down to these two tag styles we've got a sentiment and we've got these gorgeous little daffodils i think they're gonna fit nicely on just a nice little four by four white card we're gonna use the daffs so let's grab this one let's have a look what have we got what have we got? I might just go for a little bit of that. A little bit of that. A gorgeous daffodil topper. Maybe that's even too close. Maybe I'll use that top one. And then I'm going to use this little sentiment for this. Just so nice and simple. Um, I am going to use that for the whole front of the card. So I'm going to grab my ATG. ATG round it. Line it up against the holding edge, and then I'm just going to trim around it. It's my preferred way of doing it when I'm doing it this way. Just dark orange. Then I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to cut this one down as well. So let's get this trim on. I think these are just under four. Yeah, ever so slightly under. By ever so slightly under. So. I'm going to come in at three and a half. I'm going to come all the way down because if I swing this round and again do three and a half, that now also leaves me a panel that's going to be big enough to pop onto another card blank. So to one side up there. I'm going to attach that that way so that then our topper can sit across the top like so and then we have the little tiny sentiment that can go just there. So let's give these a trim.
Okay. This is a top fold. I quite like top fold cards. That like so. And then I'm going to add this with some foam tape. I do love my foam tape. Gorgeous daffodils. A little piece of foam tape on the sentiment. Oh, I'll get the back off that one. Put that one just there. I think that's really pretty. I do feel like it needs something, but I'm just not sure what. Hmm. I haven't got any tiny butterflies. I know I haven't. Maybe a couple of these little flowers, but I'm just not. I'm not sure. I might put this to one side. I sometimes do that. What you'll find with me, if you are new, is that sometimes I put cards to one side where I'm like, yeah, it's pretty, but I feel like it just needs something in these two top corners, maybe. We'll put it in the pile. Put it in the pile for now. It's starting to make a very big mess. But So we've got this beautiful panel here. So this is like three and a half, or should be by four and three quarters I think that's really pretty as it is I'm wondering if I can make this work with a C6 card I've got loads of these cards I love this size of card size card with something behind it maybe that was the whole card I kind of want a bit of texture on this one. So I'm thinking the gold right up, literally edging the card. This texture piece on top. And this on top of there. Then I think I'm going to run the sentiment across the top and have this as like part of the um, sort of like background as the actual like topper sheet. I think that would work. What do you think? So let's attach this one onto here like so. It's attached and then trim around it.
go. Love this glitter. It's a no shed glitter cardstock that I picked up from um, the, uh, Amazon, I think, ages ago. And I do keep grabbing, hot, grabbing it and using it. So we are at just over four by just over five and three quarters. So I can do five and a half. Uh, it was just over four, wasn't it? So, three and three quarters. So, that attached like so then I'm actually going to 3D decoupage this one up I'm going to use one of these so I might as well put this little excess bit onto one of these haven't I Might need a bit more for that one, hey? How nice is that? I think that's gorgeous. I think that's absolutely gorgeous. Now, I do still have loads of cardstock left on this one. I think because I've been putting so much of my own cardstock in to extend this out, I do still have still have this piece here, and I still have this piece here as well. But I am very conscious that I'm already an hour in. I can't believe I've already been an hour. So. I might pop these away for spares. Um, to be fair, this card I've just made, I could absolutely absolutely replicate it with that. There's more than enough in there to make another panel. To be fair, I could do the same over here with similar colours um, and just add some toppers. So there's definitely room for some more cards out of these. Um, I might not make another video out of it though. I feel like this video's run on for quite a while. Um, but there's definitely more potential in that. Tell you what I'm going to do. Because I feel like I'm missing out. I am going to pause the video for you guys. I'm going to try and make at least another two cards out of this. And then I'll come back and show you what I've made. Um, there won't be any techniques that you haven't already seen on my channel. So let me pause the video so that for you guys it's a split second. And for me I can just carry on working through some of these. I am back and I have tidied up my desk a little bit as well. So we've got a little bit of organised chaos now. So I managed to make two more cards while I was off camera. I'm going to show you all the cards that we made. So we were working with the Golden Bunches Luxury Topper Set. Um, it says on the front that it makes at least two cards. We got one sheet of the die cut toppers. We got two sheets of cardstock, one that was foiled, one that was not foiled. 
I have added quite a bit of my own cardstock in this to make this stretch and I'm aware that not everybody will have that to be able to do but I know a lot of us especially um a lot of the older crafters so like for myself I've been crafting for a long time it's very easy to build up a stash of this so even if you don't have this amount to add in now you may do at a later date so the two cards that we made while I was offline was I made this one and all I've done is this is on a six by six card blank. I've lined the card entirely in this pale yellow cardstock that we've already used a couple of times on the cards. I cut out this panel which was the other corner on the sunflower background. I've added a gold sentiment. I popped some of the ribbon strip that it comes with at a diagonal just there and then just added three little golden gems and I thought that was beautiful and again it doesn't have an official topper we've made this the focal point on that card and then I just replicated the card previous so they do look while well, they're very similar or almost identical I guess because it's been taken from a slightly different part of the cardstock they are slightly different, that's only got one butterfly, that's got two, this has got more dafts, this has got like a lower sweep of dafts. I did use a slightly different sentiment, albeit it's from the same sentiment pack. So we're up to three cards already. We have the half fold card where I've added in that pale yellow and you'll see it's the same one just there. We have this five by seven card and I've added the darker yellow and the gold glitter and again I've added my own sentiment you'll see I've added a few of them that is the one that we made where we did the one inch strips I really like that and that's such an easy one to replicate throughout any of your kits like yes this one was made out of yellow and gold but if you've got yourself some coloured cardstock a plain coloured cardstock like this maybe or maybe you're working with a patterned cardstock as well then get your glitter and you can use matching like this. I've got a few different coloured glitter card stocks that would work for different patterns. Maybe you do a patterned, maybe you do a plain. Maybe you do a mirror board and a plain, mirror board and a pattern, glitter and a pattern. Like there's so many different combos. So you, that is such a good background to use and it's also really good for using up your scraps. So we're up to six cards and then we have the final little 4x4 four four card that we made. This one I just added the... Um, the dark yellow to that one so i think that was a really good kit i've really enjoyed making these cards i don't know if i have a favorite i think they're all really nice i really like this one because i love that background but i also love the way that that background there has just made its way into being a topper and a focal point so let me know what you think in the comments down below yes i added quite a bit of cardstock to this but this is how we make these kits work isn't it I've managed to get seven cards out of this one kit that it says on the front will make a minimum of two. So I am really happy. I'm always happy to use up some of my card stock. In terms of what we have left in the kit, I have both of the golden inner frames that will go in my scrap box. I have this left of the ribbon strip. I have these two little tags left. I don't tend to add these tags to my cards. I can, as in like on them, um, but yeah, I haven't on this occasion. Then in terms of the backing sheets, we have this piece and this piece from the sunflower one. So it's pretty much just plain white, a little bit on the edging, but that's it. And then of the gold foiled one, we have this little piece that has that slither down there. And then we have these two pieces here and that's it that was all that was left if I'm totally honest I think what I'm going to do with this piece I don't think it would really fit on any card that I've got but it's actually a really nice size to make into maybe a bookmark and I've been thinking about doing some um, of the card bookmarks for um, well to use up some of my scraps especially these really skinny ones um, so I tell you what while I've got two seconds let's see uh i might go for that one so we'll round off these bottom corners oops 
There we go. So we'll round off the bottom corners. Let's just let's just do it. I'm gonna trim off some of this top because I don't I don't need it to be this big doing. What size should we go? Should we go six inch maybe? Slice that off there, not and around these top corners again. So that is that on there. And then I have got a punch, but my round one no that's my heart one hold on uh, let me pause the video a second to just grab my round punch annoyingly i can't find my round punch i've got one but i don't know what i've done with it so we'll use this one i like this the only thing is is it's going to make my heart upside down but do you know what it's going to be for me anyway so We'll punch out that little heart. I would actually normally punch that out as a circle. I say normally like I've done this before. And then I did buy some really skinny ribbon. I bought this a couple of weeks ago now. It's just some from eBay, uh, Amazon actually, and it's plain white. And I bought it to do the um, waterfall cards because it, they didn't send anything. But this will work on this anyway. It's not the best. But it'll do. I'll feed that through there. I'll just use this for me. And trim those off slightly. And there we go. Super quick. Um, and I have been contemplating doing them with a lot of my other scrap pieces. I just haven't really done it yet. Um, let me know what do, you, what do you think? I mean, I don't think I'll sell them. I'm not convinced anybody would buy them, or would they? Or do I put them, like, on the end of a table? Or maybe free gifts? This could be something that I pop into, like, maybe parcels or have some at the back of my craft stores i don't know would you be happy getting just a little free bookmark i guess there's worse things in life isn't there um but it just uses up another scrap so that's now gone too we'll pop that to one side i'll use that in my book um and then it was just these little bit, bits here so there really wasn't a lot left over to be fair i'm really happy with that it's another good collection of cards to put away um and it uses up another, albeit very small collection, but it uses up something else that is just going to sit on my shelf. I hope you've enjoyed this and it's inspired you to get your crafting goodies out. Um, if you have any questions on any of the cards that I've made, please let me know. Otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and a fabulous rest of your week. Bye for now.